I'm going to show you how to synchronize audio inside DaVinci Resolve. It's easier than you think. Let's hop in and do it. Now, as you'll see already, I've imported media. I've gone through my cutting process and I'm now in the editing area where I've got my timeline with the video and some audio showing up here. Now, traditionally what happens when I'm filming and probably when you film as well, you'll film something on the camera, you'll grab camera, microphone, audio quality, but you'll also hopefully have a lavalier attached or some kind of condenser microphone if you're shooting in a studio or maybe even something on a, on a boom arm like a, a shotgun mic. Whatever you've got, you'll probably have more than one audio source and you want to synchronize them up. And as I always suggest, start of a video, clap. <laughs> I hope my editor didn't cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> doing that will really, really upset my editor. Uh, so yes, clap to synchronize audio. It's always very, very important. Uh, just as I've done here in this video, you can see there some nice clapping. And then I've got my audio track, which is here. This is my condenser microphone, which I can drag onto and it will automatically create audio track two. So you'll hear if I solo this track and play it, it's my lavalier. Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Actually, no, it's my condenser. From Music Radio. And it's completely out of sync to what my lips are doing. Uh, and the same if I then solo this. I'll give you an introduction to audio. This is in sync, but this is my camera mic, which is really frankly awful. So how do we synchronize audio? It's super simple. Just select both the tracks, right click, look for the context menu. You've got auto align clips here. You can do it based on time code, but I wouldn't do that. I do it based on waveform. And then what DaVinci Resolve will do is it'll look at both waveforms and synchronize them. As easy as that. In fact, one of the most intuitive processes I've found inside DaVinci Resolve is synchronizing multiple audio clips based on their waveform. Let's do it, see how long it takes. Uh, oh, done, <laughs> there you go. And what's really cool is it didn't shift the tracks or the video around, it simply took the out of track, uh, out of sync track on audio two, budged it up and made everything synchronized. Now it might be a good idea uh, just to really zoom in on those claps so we can really take a look at that and just see. It looks to me like, I mean, we can make these tracks bigger if we want, but it seems to me like those claps are pretty well synchronized, I'd say. Yeah, extremely well synchronized. Let's play. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music. Yeah, we can hear that synchronous echo, which indicates that we've got a good sync. And then we can solo audio track two, which is the condenser. Let's actually call that Pro, and we'll call this uh, Bad. <laughs> Probably works. Play. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. Perfect sync to the lips there. We can solo it back to the camera mic. On my channel, I'll give you an introduction to audio editing. And then and solo it back to the to condenser. How to create great sounding audio that doesn't sound like this. So I think that's really, really cool. Uh, it's an easy process. So again, just select all the audio tracks you want to synchronize, right click, auto align clips based on waveform. DaVinci Resolve does it in the click of a finger. And then you can, of course, go ahead and deliver your project once you've finished editing, of course. And that is the topic of my next video, how to export your projects from DaVinci Resolve and get them ready for publishing online or sending off to a client or even getting audio out of DaVinci Resolve. If it's just a wave or MP3 you're looking for, make sure to watch my next video on that. And in the meantime, if you've got any questions or comments, do leave them down below.